I like to insist on calling company because I could have been just Nunzio and Berizzeri and every time taking new people. But for me it's important to see how these people, they connect each other and the space becomes the space of everybody and everybody contributes in something of the creation. I was coming from another world, you know, everybody expected that I would have become maybe a painter. Uh, I remember my teachers in school, they were already uh, fantasized what kind of painter or artist I would have become. And then at a certain point, I want to become a choreographer. So it was a shock, I would say, for everybody. But for me, it was clear. <laughs> In 2014, there was a young artist and a young choreographer which was in the need to express his ideas in a space. This possibility I didn't find in the city. Uh, by chance, one day I was in a restaurant in the toilet and I, I said to myself, wow, I like this the toilet. There were people, they pee, I gonna create dance. I decided to make a short film called Quieta inquietudine and somehow the film represented also part of me, something which I was experiencing this moment. There was this fighting for fulfill the dream, looking for a space, but there was a, a big loneliness. The film received a prize in uh, the competition 60 Seconds Dance at the Loika Dance Film Festival in Helsinki. And uh, it was a very huge encouragement for me to move on and not giving up. This is how somehow the full uh, journey of the Nunzio Brezzer Dance Company started. Just later, in 2017, from Theatre am Gleis, we had the opportunity to create the second production. And I decided to let Quieta come back, but this time on stage. It was a piece which somehow made a cut with my vision as a young choreographer and to the choreographer which maybe I'm in the process to be. Kieta is in this two rooms apartment with the husband. They have no dialogue, they, have, they don't find each other anymore. So the love, which in the beginning was something which accommodated the two of them, brought them very far. But they don't have the courage to talk, to create a new dialogue or to find each other. Dance, it was an encounter by chance. I was uh, finishing the studies in art. I was painting, I was creating sculptures, I was drawing costumes and stage set, but I was missing something that moved my art in the, the space. The possibility to shape the bodies and creating movement in the space made me crazy and then started the big interest. Corpo Barocco, it started from the meeting between me and uh, a sculpture. The sculpture was without arms, without one leg and full of holes. And I asked myself, how it's possible that such a, an imperfection can generate beauty? 
The imperfection I created also in the piece. So many parts of the piece are complete, exactly the way Baroque was used to do it. I never watch the choreography from the aspect of how the dance moves, but I have watched which is the relation and the atmosphere we are creating and from what do they are created. They are created as well from the lights, are created by costumes, by creating from the stage or from the space which is shaping the dance in that moment. The first part of the piece, it's a part where also the dancers, they can show them power, they can show them physicality, but they never go out of the stage. And at a certain point, the second part of the performance, it changed the mood because the dancers, they are exhausted. When you start, you are very young and you're a good dancer. Nobody comes and say, you're good. Then you become choreographer and you don't have any more the institution behind you that support also your emotions. And if you are not honest with yourself, you cannot be honest with the work you produce. Please Hold Me, it's a piece which was the result of the last period. I found myself stuck in a creative process. I find myself blocked from my strong back pain. And, uh, and exactly in the same period in the lockdown. So I start to think about a new creation that can help me to go out from this story. A creation which brings people together in a moment where people they cannot be together. So I designed a costume which allows the performance between a performer and an active public. The public can have fun, but at the same time experience how to support a performance. And in this case, how to support the performer. We are looking forward for the premiere on the 8th of April at Kulturmarkt Zurich, giving us the possibility to, to meet again the public and to bring the dancers again in the space where we all wait to go and look for a future which will bring new things.